Instagram recently dropped its 2023 trend report, which I didn't even know was a thing until I saw it, but there are actually some really good takeaways from it and how Gen Z wants to interact with Instagram moving forward. In this video, I'm gonna break down the trends and how you can evolve your real estate content to match what is trending. And if you like the sound of that, take out a bludgeon and smash whatever device you're watching this into pieces or just smash that like button with your index finger. All right, let's break it down. In 2023, Gen Z plans on supporting causes they care about. The trend report lists those causes, but you know what? I don't really care about these causes and neither do you. You're not watching this to hear about what a 16 year old thinks about the safety of Harbor Seals. You're here to close more deals and get more followers. So let's skip this one. All right, here we go, the real ones. One of the biggest takeaways I got from this report is that Gen Z is undergoing a financial renaissance. It says that Gen Z prioritizes financial literacy as a skill and that 25% of them actually wanna increase their skills in finance. Not only do two thirds of them plan on making money on social media, they are actually thirsty for knowledge about finance and investing. So what does this mean for you? the agents. Well, you can start crafting or shifting your content to make it more education based. How about posts like how to save for a down payment on your home or breaking down monthly closing costs, sharing how you structure your savings or discussing how you handle taxes as an entrepreneur, break down closing costs and what the average seller pays for commission, how much equity you get if you do something, I don't know, but you know, use Instagram as a way to educate the youngins, you know? Do the classic renting versus buying shtick, break down how a loan works. There are endless ways to educate and entertain the Gen Z audience. Go green screen, break down the inventory numbers of your market, talk about why prices are going up or why they're going down, the effect of inflation rates and inventory has on everything. The fact that Gen Z wants to consume financial knowledge and not Tide Pods, frankly, is incredible news. <laughs> Boomer joke right there. Next in 2023, it says that mixed media will rule content creation. And this is extremely vindicating because I've been saying this for years. People wanna consume content in different ways. You need to post stories, you need to post feed posts, reels, carousels, still images, tweets, raw videos, professional videos, green screens, you need to post everything. I know reels are kind of it right now, but you gotta mix it up. If someone sees the same style every time on your feed, they're gonna flick right by. See ya. On top of a variety of posting styles, the next gen also expects their favorite content creators to branch into new forms of media. So what does that mean? 40% of Gen Z followers want their favorite influencers to host a podcast. Does this mean that 40% of realtors should start a podcast? Absolutely not. But if you do have a good podcast, of course, bring it over to BAM because we host the best podcast in the real estate game. In fact, I shouldn't even be hosting a podcast, but podcasts are an incredible way to diversify your content and get a ton of clips for your long form and short form content. I host the Over Ask podcast with Matt Leonetti and we get like three to four fire clips per episode to post across all platforms. By the way, if you do listen to the best real estate podcasts in the game, they are all on BAM and that channel is linked down below. So diversify your content and show your versatility as a content creator. Next, the trend report mentions that 68% of Gen Z social media users want to discover or try food from different cultures that they discover online. So here's a thought. As a realtor, why don't you just do way more content around epic food spots in your community or your farm? Interview restaurant owners. Do not interview restaurant owners. It is a complete and utter waste of time. The restaurant owner does not want to be interviewed. They don't want to collab <laughs> with you on Instagram so they could get an extra 50 people. You're not going to get that romantic romantic, Italian, you know, wine, you're sitting there, the guy's telling the most incredible story, you're gonna get a clip. It's gonna be the most awkward thing, you're standing there with your little baby mic, yeah. no one wants to hear yeah. this. This guy is three minutes away from overcooking his chicken and being out of business. The last yeah. thing he needs is for you to be sticking a little baby mic in his face. For a realtor just trying to get content. I know it's like, hey, we're gonna promote your restaurant. I've seen so many of these that are so uncomfortable and they're so long and they're so pointless and I don't see what the viewer gets out of there. Like, go green screen mode and just like review the restaurant. Chefs do close-ups of the food and market your listings and content around the restaurants and the cuisine in your area. How about that? Do more food content. Finally, the trend report emphasizes Gen Z's proclivity, affinity, obsession. Are those the right words, Bobby? Um, for liking their community and participation. They want their creators to form a community. Gen Z is excited about realizing their digital relationships and they're looking for more 
in-person experiences. So for agents, maybe this means more client-facing events, first-time buyer seminars, you know, the real exciting stuff. Let them get to know you and meet you in person. Also, from a community perspective, make sure you're active in your community Facebook groups. Maybe you're starting one, maybe you're commenting on others, or maybe it's even a private Discord. Shout out to Actually Agents and the Real Estate Hub for creating an incredible community of agents on Discord. Make sure you turn your followers into a community because that will be really helpful and a valuable asset in 2023. By the way, we did a full breakdown of this article on BAM and sent it out to our email newsletter, which is by far the best email newsletter in real estate. Our open rate's like 120%. There's a link down below, so sign up for that right now. I'm a plug machine today. So diversify your content, post about food, host more in-person events, and talk more educational and financial stuff. By the way, Gen Z runs online trends and they will be buying homes soon. So pay attention to this. That's the video. Marketing Monday, throw me a like, and if you got some value out of this, subscribe to the channel so I can feel good about myself. Chag Sameach. If you enjoyed this Marketing Monday, you should definitely check out BAM X, the Netflix of real estate education and marketing, where myself and other BAM creators dive deeper and actually show you how to implement these strategies in interactive courses and live streams. Join the BAM X community. There is a link in the description. You will love it.